What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple armor system. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is to create our item that's going to be in the floor, um, basically an armor, and we will go ahead and uh, pick it up. So, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder to have things um, more organized. It's going to create a folder um, called uh, armor, okay? I'm going to go ahead and open it. So, I'm going to go ahead and right click, go to blueprint class, and we're going to create a new uh, blueprint or type of actor because it's just going to be there uh, a static on the scene. So it's going to be BP on the underscore, for example, um, uh, armor piece because it's going to be dynamically uh, changing inside the blueprint. So we don't have to create a different blueprint for, for example, um, the chest plate, the, the helmet, etc. We can all have it inside one blueprint, which will make it more efficient. So the first thing I'm going to add in it is going to be a static mesh, and then it's going to be just the armor. Well, just the mesh, for example. Okay, and then here you will be able to place the mesh. Now I'm just going to say one thing, and it's that um, I do not have any, uh, you know, models on armor right now. So what I'm going to do is basically just create a uh, cube and just use a cube <laughs> okay um as simple as that and it's gonna make it like 0.2 uh, 0.2 and 0.2 to make, just make it smaller so of course you probably will have a some armor model so in this static mesh you will place your armor model okay so now what we're going to do is create an interface an interface will allow us to connect um with another uh, actors and blueprints uh, without needing to directly cast into that blueprint. You will understand it more in a second. I use them pretty much in uh, all my, you know, advanced system tutorials. So, go ahead, right click, uh, blueprints, and I'm gonna get a blueprint interface. It's gonna be BBI, uh, interact, and interact um, armor, let's say. Um, but of course you can, if you're gonna use use it for more things, for example, later on in items, on inventory things, you can use uh, keep it up as interact. So, in the function name, I'm basically gonna uh, just call it um, equip um, slash pick up and I'm gonna go ahead and enter and there we go, we have a function. So, we literally can now uh, compile and save this interface and close it. So now we can go back into our armor piece blueprint. I'm gonna go into class settings, and you can see down here we can implement a new interface. And we're gonna go ahead and interface uh, the one that we have created. So uh, BPA uh, interact armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit. There we go. And now if we go back into the vent graph, we can go ahead and delete all this, and you will see that we have an interface. Uh, so what we can do is right click, and in just a second. Uh, we can go ahead and implement the event. So uh, when we call this from our player to pick up this item, we will do everything basically inside of it. So just to make sure it's working, what I have to do is just uh, print a string, uh, which is gonna be just hello, and then we're gonna go ahead and destroy the actor. This is just basically to um, go ahead and test. Now, what we're going to do is create an area that we can pick it up. So if the player is inside this area, which will be the trigger zone, uh, we can interact with the item. We can basically pick it up. So just type for a sphere. I'm going to add a sphere collection. It's going to be our trigger. And then the sphere radius is going to be as big as you want. Um, a bit bigger, actually. Maybe 100 is okay for me. You can, uh, you know, customize your size as you want. And make sure that the collision preset is an overlap of dynamic. Okay, so now we can compound save and go back in third person. Another third person blueprint. Uh, if you don't have it, you can just go into content, third person, blueprints, open up. Also, it will work, you know, in every, in every uh, blueprint you have on first person or whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm just using the third, per third person character, sorry. So, let's do that. For example, when I hit um, E key to go ahead and interrupt with an item, I will pick it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and press E. And then I'm gonna do a for each loop. And basically we're gonna loop through all the items in that we are basically um, overlapping. So uh, get overlapping actors. And then we can uh, have a glass filter and it's gonna be uh, BP 
armor piece. There we go. Now inside the array element, we're gonna make sure that it has the, the interface implemented. So does implement interface and we're gonna search our BPI interact armor. So if this item has the interface, it means that we can pick it up. So if it's true, we're gonna go ahead and drag our array element. Now, instead of casting, we can now directly just go ahead and see and go uh, interact. Uh, here we go. E e e e e e equip and pick up. So now we can plug it in into true. It's gonna make it more organized. This there we go. So now we'll be calling our function that we assigned uh, over here in the armor piece directly from the player. So in here it will do this basically. So if now I go into content, um, where is it armor, and then just drag the armor piece onto here. Later on, we'll you know make it that you can choose directly the armor piece that you want from the from the inspector from the details panel instead of directly from the blueprint. So let's just go ahead and. Uh, press play and we can go into our um, item and then if I hit E you will see that uh, it basically disappeared and it prints hello so basically right now it's working what we have done so now we have to basically equip it into the player's um, mesh so what we're going to do is go into the mesh uh, just ignore my arrows they were for other tutorials you know <laughs> anyway so in mesh selected and i'm gonna add a new uh static mesh this is gonna be the um for example the chest plate so i'm gonna go ahead and add a static mesh of course it's if it's a skeleton mesh instead of a static mesh because for some reason it has to be a, a skeleton mesh for your armor uh well just instead of using static meshes use skeleton meshes anyway i'm just gonna use a box again um or a cube i think it was yeah, a cube um because like i mentioned before i don't have any you know items uh you know models for uh, anyway for the chest play and stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and place it like this kind of and then in the pen socket i'm just gonna go ahead and attach it into uh the spine for example the spine 2 and then i can reset the location and then in the rotation we can go ahead and rotate it around uh, 90 degrees like that and then like this and then we can uh, position it a bit better again so of course you would do this properly with your models and stuff i'm just gonna really quick just to basically show you how it would uh you know work but yeah basically align it uh and there we go kind of like that it looks pretty good so that will be our chest plate so now we can um, go ahead and duplicate it as you know Name it the helmet. I'm gonna use again the cube and then I'm basically gonna reset all this and then the parent socket is gonna be the uh, The head so it's basically attached to the head. Let's change the size over here And once you kind of have the you know, shape of your helmet <laughs> Looks pretty funny. Just a cube there we go we can go ahead and have it like that so i'm just gonna create for this video just a chest plate and a helmet but of course you can do you know legs you know whatever you want uh so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and select the helmet and the chest plate go into visibility and disable so it is not visible at uh, the start also now things got gonna go down and instead of uh collision preset of block hole dynamics gonna have no collision in both so we'll have no collision at all okay so now we can compile and save so what we're going to do is um access um which armor we are basically picking up from this blueprint this interface and um we're gonna go ahead and deciding if it's the helmet we're gonna enable that uh, object and if it is chest play, chest play sorry we're gonna go ahead and enable that object so for this what we're gonna have to do is add one more thing into their uh interface so go ahead and open it up select a function and it's basically gonna have an output so we can add an output and this is gonna be um uh you know armor uh piece yeah armor piece and this is gonna be a type of string there we go so this will return a string so now we can compile and save 
we can go back into our armor piece and we can delete this and you notice that we have an error in our um, implementation on the interface event this is because right now it will not be a event anymore it will be a function which we can create output so basically just delete this get the interface here go ahead and sorry go to class settings remove so clear and click yes on the interface then go here delete this function and now we can go to class settings and add it again i know it is what we have to do so now we can get this ctrl x and then double click it interfaces and there we go we can go ahead and uh, paste this back in and then we'll see that it'll work and then there we go so we need to reference into the armor piece so we're going to create a new variable which we can set up later on in the inspector so it's going to be armor uh, armor piece basically and uh this is going to be a string there we go so we'll basically pass this armor string there and also click on the armor piece variable i'm going to make it uh here in the eye so it's exposed so we can change it later on and there we go uh so we're going to destroy the actor over here uh, we can actually print hello but we will have to go into the event graph create a custom event say pick up and then this is going to be destroy actor because we're going to uh, make a delay on the on the function because if we destroy before it you know returns something we will not return anything so just add a small delay over here uh yeah 0 0.2 is okay go back into here and then it's gonna be i'll go picked up which should be picked up but anyway uh okay so we can compile and save so now we can go back into third person map and in armor piece we can set up to be for example the chest uh plate this plate i think it's like that all right chest plate so now in here when we uh, have it as an output we can basically make it so that if it's equal And the string, if it's equal exactly to test plate, and then we can get a branch. So if it's equal to the chest plate, what we will do is get the chest plate and drag it on, and then set visibility in true to be true. And what we can do is get this, move it out the way and then do a sequence so we'll do multiple things the next thing that we're going to do is get this paste it over here and on here we're gonna plug it into the branch and ask if it's a helmet basically helmet with a capital m h sorry so it has to be exactly the same and then plug this in up here and then um instead of the chest plate it's gonna be the helmet down here there we go so now we'll be enable the helmet or the chest plate depending on what we are basically picking up. So I can now delete, uh, sorry, duplicate this, sorry. Uh, there we go, move it into the left and then change it into the helmet. So helmet. And now if I basically press play, if I go into the chest plate and I click E, you can see that I just <laughs> equipped the chest plate and I go into the uh, helmet you can see that i basically <laughs> equipped the helmet and it looks really funny so last thing that we're going to do is go into back into uh, armor piece and in the construction script what we're going to do is make a uh, sequence and then we're going to make a branch over here and what we're going to do is drag our armor piece and get it and if it's equals again exactly into just plate Uh, let's go over here. Go ahead and set the mesh, set static mesh to be the the cube that we currently have. And here we go. And if not, well, copy this, paste it, and in then it will be if it's the helmet, we will search to be a sphere. For example, just use for example the sphere. So. Now we can file save and you can see that now 
the uh, chest plate is square and the helmet in here. So now dynamically it will change depending on which item piece it is. Of course you will replace this instead of a sphere and a, and a square into whatever um, models you have. And the same on the character uh, placement. But yeah. So now we can go ahead, let's play. Go into the chest plate. Go ahead and equip it. And then go into helmet and equip it. So that's it guys, if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful, I really appreciate you to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials such as this one, so if you want to see more, well, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment on any other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials you want to see, and now just follow us ahead, bye bye.